bloody streak here, so uh, let's enjoy it while it lasts. Now, I've been thinking. Quarantine, social distancing, people encouraged to stay home. You could be, as indicated by the title of the video, one of those people who has been interested in picking up the guitar and are a little bit unsure about how to go about it. So, I believe that is a stellar opportunity for me to shed some light and give you some uh, quick tips as to how to start your adventure. Now, who am I to be able to tell you what to do and how to start learning? Well, I personally taught myself how to play using mostly online sources and trying, but failing, to learn how to do some things just by listening to some records and playing by ear. So I feel that having reached a good level of intermediacy, let's say, I can maybe give some beginner players some good ideas as to how to start. So what to do? Most important thing that will carry on throughout the entire process of you learning how to play, don't give up. That, that is the major problem. I myself was guilty of it because I tried to learn how to play the guitar once before I actually focused down and did it. Uh, I was in middle school, eighth grade, and I didn't really want to play for myself. It was just kind of more so, you know, my mum suggested I do it, so I thought, yeah, okay, fair enough. I didn't really like it, it was kind of hard, and you know, any one of those 10 million guitar ads that you've probably seen if you've even so much as typed the word guitar or guitar lesson anywhere in the Google search bar, that the beginning seemed so slow and hard, and it didn't really seem to click right away. Let's get this immediately out there. You're not going to be a musical virtuoso in all likelihood, if you are, I mean kudos. Please give us something to celebrate in the world. Produce. But if you're not, that's completely fine. Learning how to play a new instrument, if you have no previous experience with playing instruments, such as I did, is going to be a little bit tough. You're learning how to speak a new language, if that makes sense. You're entering a new world which you weren't really that much aware of previously. So obviously there's going to be some growing pains and it, it's not really all going to click that well straight away. So the most important tool and the most important tip I can give you is do not give up. Do not be one of those cases which leads to the inevitable musician, Fender Play or whatever may have you third party app to go. This video is in no way sponsored by any of the pre-mentioned apps, unless they would like to contact me and offer me a sponsorship, in which case I would gladly accept. But at the moment, that is not the case. Now that we have the most important thing out of the way, let's actually start with, I don't know, what should you first start looking for? Now, you do have to have a little bit of common sense with regards to where to start off with your lessons. What this means is you're going to have to be able to discern what is a good source information from what perhaps is not the best source. Now, I suggest you using YouTube to the full extent of its ability to help you as a platform, because it, in turn, helped me quite a lot. From actual live recordings of artists in concert, helping you immensely with being able to listen, see them play, or some video lessons and tutorials which can help you out and are really focused in on, okay, this is what I want to learn, this video has that, cool, let's do that. I do, however, want to invite you to consider not doing what I did and almost rely too heavily on video lessons and walkthroughs of songs. Now, although it is very useful in the beginning, and I recommend that maybe for the first couple of songs you want to start looking at, you do that, because it gives you an opportunity, if you have never seen a guitar or have never played anything, to just easily walk through what you're doing and what's going on. In the long term, after a couple of months of doing so, it is going to affect your natural ability to learn things by ear. And as you continue to learn, you may end up in the unfortunate predicament, such as I did, where you have a knowledge and a library of multiple songs at your disposal, and you have a, enough knowledge of theory to have a conversation with someone about it. But then if you want to play with someone on the spot, have a jam session, you can't because your ear training isn't good enough to be able to help you navigate yourself through some live playing situations. I highly suggest that you 
in addition to using some tutorials and using tab, that you try your best to listen to the original records of what you're actually trying to learn how to play, and try to use your ear a little bit, and start focusing on that element as early as possible so you don't suffer later on in your play. Now you may ask yourself, okay, I have, I know that I can't, I shouldn't give up, I know that I should consider using different types of sources with regards to learning how to play, but where should I start? Well, in order to not bore yourself shitless and actually end up giving up, which is one of the main problems, it is a lot easier to deal with the growing pains of learning how to play if you aim for things that you like. So, in my case, when I was learning, I'm a really big fan of Eric Clapton, Led Zeppelin, John Frusciante. Therefore, I tried to learn their songs, and I found that it was a lot more rewarding to learn songs that I actually enjoyed. You know, that, that, that just seems to make sense to anyone. Now, what I can suggest is, maybe not as your first first lesson, but maybe as your even third or fourth, to just immediately go to a song you want to learn, even if it is a little bit harder. So. In my case, one of the first songs I learnt was Other Side by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. to increase your library of songs with, let's say, mid-tier or intermediate level pieces, you're going to find that you can kind of skip that beginning phase. And the bonus is that if you continue to try to learn pieces that you're actually interested in, you're going to feel motivated and that much more rewarded for what you do. So to recap, my main tips are don't give up, keep in mind that it is going to be a little bit difficult and you're going to have some growing pains but it's well worth it. Secondly, keep in mind that there are multiple types of sources you can use to try to learn how to play, and it's good that we try to take the most advantage of them as we can. And thirdly, focus on pieces you like. If you learn something you already like listening to so you can play along, you're gonna enjoy the end result of learning how to play. Sounds simple? Well, once you start, and, and I promise you that once you get through that first week, that first month, you're going to be at a point where you're very happy and within three to four months of playing you're going to be at a point hopefully where you're comfortable enough playing some solos you're going to be playing some songs all the way through to the end and all you can do is continue to grow and explore one thing that i will say though before popping off definitely is once you get through that first week that first month and you start learning how to play some songs i invite you to think about what you're playing for example if you learn a song and let's say you're learning Cocaine by Eric Clapton. Yeah. Simple opening riff, little added pizzazz with the extra notes and the licks. But what I would invite you to do is you learn a song and then you try to understand what the parts of the song mean. That is how you learn and improve and that's how you add the language of what you're doing to your repertoire for future songs and if you don't trust me there's a recording of john mayer saying this on an instagram live thing somewhere so i'm not just spewing bullshit here so if you're playing cocaine you know you can quickly learn that the first note is an e major bar chord in you can learn that this is a d still major and then you can learn that the extra licks come from the relative scales of the key you're in. So for example, the comes from the E major scale in this position, in the E major pentatonic. I highly recommend that as you continue to expand your vocabulary, especially in the beginner phase, you try to go back and if coming through a song you hear major bar chord or you hear pentatonic scale or you hear this and that, 
I would invite you to open up a separate tab, look up the thing in question, learn what it is as you're going through. With this, with these four tips, although it's a relatively informative video, which I'm not really that used to doing, um, I hope that anyone out there could enjoy. If anything, the thing that would make me the most happy is knowing that I maybe have helped someone have some idea or maybe corroborate with something someone else said with regards to having a positive attitude with regards to starting to learn how to play guitar and especially now trying to make use of online sources to the fullest extent. Now, thank you for watching and I apologize for taking this video too seriously.